The goal of Simply Outrageous Math is to make a difference in the way students look at math and relate to numbers. As is anything in life, there's more than one way to solve a problem, and in math, there's more than one way to solve a math problem. Everyone is capable of learning math and enjoying it. Numbers are around us every day. Many students graduate from high school with only one math course, general math, in ninth grade. Zero through nine are our new base numbers. We will add left to right just the way we read. Most math is based on 10. The Simply Outrageous Math system uses 10 digits together. Yet the digits are not 1 through 10. The digits are 0 through 9. Every number higher than 9 is made up of those 10 digits. The number 10 is made up of 1 and 0. The number 45 is made up of 4 and 5. The secret to numbers is that every number higher than 9 adds down to 9. Just pick a number, add each of the digits together in the number, then subtract the total from the original number, then check your addition. To check your addition, use a 9's check. For example, add 8 plus 8. You think the answer is 16, so you subtract your answer 16 from the number made out of the equation 88. Then you add those two numbers together, and if you get 9, you know the answer is correct. Since 7 plus 2 equals 9, the 9's check says you're right. 8 plus 8 equals 16. Look at these other examples. Does 5 plus 5 equal 10? Does 6 plus 6 equal 12? If you understand this, then you now understand Simply Outrageous Math. Simply Outrageous Math is a fun way to understand and learn math. Math becomes easier when you understand a few basic principles. A number's meaning is found from the order in which we write down its digits. The digits are those figures that make up the total number. For example, 8,976 contains four digits. It contains 8, 9, 7, and 6. The value of the number depends on how many digits it contains. A single digit means its value is somewhere between 0 and 9. A one-digit figure is called the ones or units when it's part of a larger number. When we write it at the far right side of the number, we place it in the ones or units column. In this number, 8,976, the 6 means that there are 6 ones in 8,976. Our first multiplying strategy is called cross multiplication. For example, 14 times 12. To get the last digit in the answer, multiply the two numbers on the right. Multiply 2 times 4. Write the answer 8 as the far right or ones digit. Now to get the middle digit, we will cross multiply both sets of numbers, then add them together. So we multiply 1 times 2, the answer is 2. We multiply 4 times 1, the answer is 4. We add the answers to get the middle digit, 2 plus 4. We write the answer 6 as the tens digit. To get the last digit, which is the hundreds digit, we multiply the left digits. 1 times 1 equals 1. Write 1 down in the far left hundreds digit. The answer to this problem is 168. If you want to multiply any number by 10, just add a 0. 1 times 10 equals 10. 68 times 10 equals 680. When you multiply by 100, just add two zeros. When you multiply by 1,000, just add three zeros. Now let's work on squaring numbers that end in 5. Any number that ends in 5 is easy to square. To start, you know that 5 times 5 equals 25. So the answer will always end in 25. To get the first part of the answer, take the number's first digit, add 1 to it, and multiply the result by the first digit of the number to be squared. For example, 35 squared. 
we know that 5 times 5 equals 25. So our answer will end in 25. Now we add 3 plus 1 equals 4, and then 4 times 3 equals 12. So we multiply the first digit by the number to be squared. 12 with the 25 makes 1,225. If you're using this strategy with larger numbers, add 1 to the number that is formed by the digits to the left of the 5. For example, 105 squared. We know that 5 times 5 equals 25, and our answer will end in 25. 10 plus 1 equals 11, so we add 1 to that digit left of 5. That's 10 plus 1. Then we multiply the result by the digits on the left of 5. So 11 times 10 equals 110. 110 with the 25 makes 11,025. In this example, we're going to learn to multiply by 11 by adding the two digits and inserting the sum between the first and the last digit. For example, 18 times 11. We know that our first digit is 1, our last digit is 8. Then we add the two numbers, which is 1 plus 8 equals 9. So your answer is 198. Let's try a larger number. 99 times 11. We understand that the first digit is 9 and the last digit is 9. However, the 9 plus 9 equals 18. So the middle digit would be 18. However, it can't be two numbers. So we have to carry. So we put the two digit number in between. Then we add 1 to the left hand number, which is 9 plus 1 equals 10. That changes the first number to 10. The correct answer is 1089. Now let's try another one, 37 times 11. Once again, to get the middle digit, we know we add 3 plus 7, and we have 3 on the left and 7 on the right. Now once again, we have a two-digit number in the middle, so we will add 3 plus 1 equals 4. That changes the first number to 4, so the correct answer is 407.